Hello guys, uh, it's still the 9th of August, um, it's now the evening, or early evening, about half past five, um, and I'm going to call it a day. Um, done quite a bit to it today, it's uh, looking quite good. Uh, I've got um, the rooms done now in the, um, the executive boxes, I don't know if you can see them, um, I'll do a bit of a close up on the one. Um, yes, so they're all done, uh, the first floor and the second floor. Um, what I have to do with those now, um, before I start putting in the lighting, is I've got to get some furniture and put some fans in, and also do the uh, the smoked glass effect uh, windows. Um, so I'm going to have to get some, um, some smoked um, vinyl. Um, clear vinyl um, obviously in a smoked effect um, across the front there um, and then um, I can put some fans in um, in those boxes as I have done with the Trinity Road and get all the lighting set up. Um, the second tier um, is well underway as well as uh, all the, uh, the grey uh, is all finished. I've now got a complete um, the yellow steps and uh, the tunnel or the exit areas there um, before I can um, put that all together. Now what I am going to do um, so that I've got access for maintenance um, at a later date um, I want to be able to take this off. Um, so I'm going to stick all four of these pieces together but I'm not going to stick it to the structure. And then I can lift the whole piece out and bring it forward. Um, and, uh, and then have access um, to behind. So, um, so for instance, for lighting um, and to clean behind um, at any time. Um, as you know, with my Trinity Road, um, I'm using the, um, the actual pylons uh, or the girders, um, which go one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen in total, um, and uh, and then I should be using slats down each one, so I can take the slats out um, to get my hands in um, to do any work, any maintenance that's required. Um, I do want to show you the back of this. Um, it does mean I'm going to have to put my phone down and um, turn it around um, so uh, so basically I'm just going to let you see the seats of the Trinity Road for now and I'll put this on the uh, the roof so bear with me a moment guys um, there we go some nice blue seats there for you to uh, to look at um, now I'm going to have to take um, the uh, top tier off to enable me to uh, to turn that around as you know it's not on a borders at the moment it's just um, sitting on my uh, worktop surface so uh, if I just turn that around and I can start showing you the uh, what I've done uh, in terms of the structure from around the back I'm back all right so uh, so I hope you heard um, what I was saying so here's the back of the um, the executive boxes now. So uh, that's uh, that's all working now. As I say, all I need to do is to, to fit that with um, with furniture uh, and some spectators. Uh, and the lighting uh, is going to come on this back structure here, um, and that will basically one row of LED lights will light up at the whole of that. Um, as I found out when I was doing Trinity Road, so that will light that up very nicely. Um, so uh, that's not going to take too much work at all. Um, now to stop that going through um, to the the seats um, uh, on the bottom tier and start coming through these tiny little cracks, I didn't want the light to do that, but I did want light to shine a little bit through um, through the tunnel here, which is the emergency services tunnel. Um, so, I don't know if you can see, I started um, panelling that off with some uh, plastic slats, um, but I left that gap um, 
in there so that the light would uh, could get access uh, and shine through there um, for the tunnel. Um, what that then gave me a thought of was if I did the same with this, some more slats at the back here, um, that works at the perfect level then for me to put another level um, of flooring in so that I could just put those plastic slats um, there for the executive boxes so uh, so that works out really nice so that is the beauty of actually using these um, these pieces of offcuts that I get from work um, as I've said before they do work to a tolerance of 0.25 um, of a millimeter um, which means they are extremely accurate so I know that if I'm using these at the front and I'm using them at the back uh, front back front back um, they're all going to be the same height all within less than a millimeter of one another anyway um, so so I know if this side is at a certain height that side is also going to be the same height um, so it's all going to be level so um, it, it's it does make my job so much easier um, a lot of people have commended me and uh, I have to thank you all so much because your your uh, comments of praise have, uh, have been such an inspiration um, but it's not actually as difficult as it might look um, because of the offcuts that I have so I'm very grateful for uh, for custom design technologies CDT um, the company I work for for allowing me to uh, to bring home any offcuts from um, the work that I'm doing uh, on the CNC machine so uh, uh, they've been a great help um, my initial plan was to be building this from wood um, I'm not a carpenter I haven't got very many tools um, and there's no way it would have come out um, as well as it has um, I've far exceeded um, my own um, um, oh, what's the word um, I think you know what I'm looking for um, but uh, yeah so my own ambitions that's the word I'm looking for um, it's gone well above that and obviously just increased my own ambitions as we've gone um, and there's no way I'm going to let up now um, this is going to the end um, even it takes me till the day I die uh, it's going to be a forever project now because once it's built there'll be um, there'll be maintenance um, required uh, as uh, as the days and the months and the years go by um, I'm looking forward to those days actually now so um, can't wait to retire <laughs> Um, long way off that maybe um, and I'm dreaming a little bit as we, as we speak um, but that's what doing things like this actually makes you do um, there's a Trinity Rose still um, still my favourite till I get to the Holt End of course um, which is my second home my church my chapel um, my pleasure dome should I say um there we go so uh, so that's what i've been doing guys um i'm going to um shut down for the night um i'm off work tomorrow um it's the last day of my holidays so i should be able to get done what i wanted to get done um i have got to paint as i say the uh the steps uh on these pieces and also do the um the claret and blue and the white trim um as we go um we go back to the first piece that i've done um, the white trim across the top um, needs to be added um, I think that actually is uniform across all of the Aston Villa stands um, although I haven't got a close enough picture of the north stand um, to confirm that um, so uh, I'm going to actually do some more research tonight and just have a look um, so the reason I've left it like that for now is because I'm not sure whether it is or not in the pictures that I've got, it actually looks like that's just claret and blue, um, which isn't uniform to the rest of the stadium. So, um, um, but I do want the North Stand to look pretty much like it is in real life if I can. Um, I'm waffling a bit. 
um again thank you all um absolutely immense the uh the actual comments um that you're making it really is a massive inspiration um it has been from day one um i don't think it would have got to this stage uh if it wasn't um for the uh the comments um the kind lovely comments that i'm getting from you all um so thanks for that um you've had 10 minutes of me waffling so um i'll bid you good night guys i hope you've all had a good weekend um stay safe and um those of you who are working um then have a good week at work and um and i'll catch you all up with another update um probably one tomorrow um once i've uh, once i've finished in here tomorrow um for those of you who aren't at work um then enjoy your time off um or uh, or time off holidays or whatever it is um enjoy your um your coming days um take care guys and uh, thanks again cheerio